Hello everyone. Today we will see the conditional formatting using the Excel VBA. This one we can apply into our Excel VBA projects. Here we have the Excel file from the developer menu. We will go to the Visual Basic. The sub procedures are in this module. You can see in the format conditions uh, there we can add, modify, and delete anything for the format condition. The format condition what we applied already those things can be delete we can add any format condition or we can modify then into that format condition dot there are parameters type operator formula one and two likewise so for the modify also same as add so here we will see one example for the formatting here we are going to define the variables rng as range also the condition one as format condition condition two as format condition uh, also we can add more conditions here so now we don't need this one if you are going to add more condition we can type one by one then we are fixing or setting the range on which conditional formatting is to be desired so to which range we are going to apply the format condition so we have to set the range the range already declared here so set range is equal to from the range b2 to b1. This is the range b2 to b1. Uh, in this range, we are going to apply that format condition. So defining and setting the criteria for each conditional format. So here we declare two condition one and condition two. For this both condition, we are going to set. So set condition one. Uh, that is from range 1 already we declare the range 1 and that is set here range b2 to b11 so rng dot format conditions we are going to add the condition the format condition so this is the type then this is the operator i will show how it came so we will comment this one so here rng dot format conditions here you can see the format conditions dot add then within the parentheses the, then this is the type you can see type as excel format condition type you can type type hold on equal then you can find here are those types excel bow average condition excel cell value data bar text string like this few types are there you don't need to type this one as well if you want to you can type then you can find equal what is the type we need type hold on equal we will select excel cell value that's what we need right in this way we can find the type and the formulas and this operator this is operator you can see in this chart this is the parameter so to add and modify these are the type now we have seen in this drop down and this is the operator for the second one okay this type is the required one another things are the optional greater than 80 this will be in the double course as string so greater than 80 for this range that is condition one for the condition two we set this condition two from that range format condition dot add the type is excel cell value then the operator excel less so less than 50 these are the conditions then we are defining and setting the format to be applied for each conditions these are the conditions for the particular range these are the conditions for that conditions we have to apply the formatting here only we are going to apply the formatting uh, using with statement with condition one for the condition one we are going to apply the formatting dot font dot color we can apply the color bb blue dot font dot bold bold is true so for the font we can apply some condition you can see for the font font objects properties for the appearance of formatted cells you can take for the bold color color index font style italic like this for the board objects as well you can take this is for the interior object 
so here we use the font object right for the condition 2 as well with statement font dot color font dot bold is equal to rule. likewise we can write the conditional formatting so what we have to do initially we have to set the range uh, after declaring the variables range and conditions we have to set the range then we have to set the condition after setting the condition we have to apply the formatting for those conditions so there are four steps declaring variables setting the range setting the condition and formatting for those conditions four steps to apply the conditional formatting now we will compile this we will be a project and serve this and we will run this one here you can see in the excel from this range which is about nine about 80 right about 80 those are blue color bb blue which is less than 50 that's bb red okay now we will move to the next small example this is the next example uh, this is another text formatting we are going to format the text using with statement first we have to set the range uh, range is from c2 to c11 this range there we have some string so dot format conditions dot add we are going to add the format condition here the type is excel type string you can see type here excel text string here it is the excel text string earlier we used the excel cell value so this is the type excel text string and the uh, text operator is here text operator is the excel contains what is the string the excel contains that is text operator then the string is topper the topper the string will be in the double course then what is the strings from this way that is going to be formatted the formatting is this one again in the with statement here we are doing all together so with font we are going to format the font of that string font dot bold is equal to true font dot color is equal to bb blue bb color we are going to apply so first we will close this with statement then we'll close the first with statement okay now we will run this put the cursor between this sub procedure compile this and serve this now we can run this one you will see all the top uh, that strings are bold and bb blue color the font this one you can see this sub procedure is to delete the formatting we, here we are going to delete to delete or clear any existing conditional formatting from the range so here we use the condition formatting to this column so we will take this all range from b2 to c11 into the range so we can declare the variable range as range so we will set the range rng is equal to range b2 to c11 or otherwise we can write this thing to here without declaring and setting this variable rng dot format conditions dot delete we are going to delete format condition from this range okay we will run this one you can see from this range all conditions format conditions are deleted in this way we can use the format conditions we can add or modify or delete the format conditions in our bba projects thank you for watching